Hi, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Joe. Um, yeah, it's always an honor to sit here and share. Uh, it's kind of an annual thing for me. I've been uh, participating for over 10 years now, and that means being here and go for 10 seasons. Um, so, yeah, so I participated in the 12 Empowerments, first of all, in 2008. Uh, and I would say I'm a, pretty, uh, I'm a pretty good example of the efficacy of the training. If you'd known me prior to that, then you, which some of you have, you would agree. Um, I was somebody that had done a lot of seeking and I struggled immensely with my, uh, with my inner world. It was like whatever I did, it didn't somehow cut through the uh, kind of pervasive disturbance that was there. Uh, that was mental, physical, emotional. Um, <coughs> And then upon, it was kind of a last resort for me, I was like, I saw friends around me who had really benefited from the teaching, so I, I gave it a try. And it was profound from the first moment for me in terms of the invitation to, to basically just stop thinking for a moment. Nobody had ever suggested that to me. So I gave it a shot. I found it very difficult because my conditioning and my training had been to... Uh, not leave things alone. It had been to basically get in there and try and figure them out and pull them apart and try and understand them. Uh, but I gave it a shot and I held on tight for the first six to 12 months because that's kind of how it was for me. And moment to moment, day to day, I saw my experience change. Um, and that's really all that's happened over 10 years. I mean, it's quite a while actually. It's like a quarter of my life. And considering that when I met the teaching I had really 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 had enough um, to the point where I, I didn't want to be alive anymore because I didn't know how to deal with my experience. Uh, the fact that now I have an incredibly rich life. Um, I shared yesterday in the meeting we had in Ashvem actually and uh, I just see that my life is, is enriched with love-filled relationships and there's no place for me where I can't love also um, even even the most it do, really doesn't matter which relationship or the context of it I find that I have the capacity to be open in relating with each and every one and everything um, it doesn't necessarily look like the picture postcard uh, like oh he's so loving it's like it is what it is and it can be fierce and it can be gentle but there's always I know internally, I have a barometer, a very sensitive barometer internally now, which allows me to know <coughs> when, I'm, when I'm on point, basically. And um, what's occurred for me most importantly within all of this is my relationship to the teaching, to the Four Mainstays, uh, to my beloved root teacher, to all of you. It's like... It's just knowing that I have a, a very, very solid family for life. Um, any of you that I don't know, um, who are showing up, you know, who basically are making the same choice as I am to rely on open intelligence, I've got your back, you've got mine. It's like it's guaranteed. Um, and to know that, to know that I could disappear off the radar for 10 years, suddenly appear back and be like, hi, I, it would just be the same. I mean, it's like there's no love lost. It's like, um, yeah, it's incredibly precious. And I had spent quite some time seeking for this in communities. I spent a lot of time traveling around Europe and also the world looking for the right intentional community, living in the um, trying to therapize my way into a peaceful state of mind. And I didn't manage it. Um, and then by default, just by showing up here for my own well-being, that's, that's just there already. I mean, that was like, that's just the best thing. 